Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made. Hey guys, it's Eric. Just a quick reminder to smash the like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any time. Leave your comments as well, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, because 64% of you at the moment, for some reason, aren't subs. So make sure you hit that button. Without further ado, though, let's uh, get into today's video. What's going on? It's Eric. From Horse Racing Gamer. Obviously, because I'm the only one that plays here. Uh, we're back with Galbraith 2003, and I don't know what the objective is for this episode. We're just going to figure it out. Hope you are having a good day, evening, night, wherever the heck you are in the world. Um, don't be surprised if you hear an animated Eric in this episode. There's a lot of goofy stuff going on in my life at the moment, more so today. So I'm kind of playing off of that. That's all I'll say. Do with that as you will. We're up with a spinning post. We acquired her and what's her face? The other girl I can't remember, but uh, yeah, she's doing well for us. And um, I wonder if, you know, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not even going to say anything. If anybody, well, you'll know if you know. That's all I'll say. You guys are probably thinking he's not making any sense and good because if you know what I'm talking about, then I know you're really, really, really paying attention. I'm just going to leave it off at that. All right. Hmm. We're off and running with spinning posts, and I forgot. i got to get her to the front. Don't move out just to move in, you... you, you uh, well, this is YouTube, and i got to keep it friendly, you know. Friendly for the, uh, for the world and the advertisers and all that. So I can't say what I'd really want to say. But, gosh, getting post position 14 makes it really hard to get to the front, even with spinning posts. In, in this game, it's hard to run on these curbs. You guys know the deal. All these turns, but they act as curbs. Yeah, this is going to be one of those episodes. Me not making sense when I'm actually making sense, for the most part. So we got her to the front, finally. Uh, didn't want to do all that now. Uh, I think she has last corner leader or something. So Get her going. She's got, yeah, last corner leader. And uh, we should be putting the one away. Work uphill. And, yeah. Spinning post doing spinning post things. Good way to kick off the episode. And we're ride home to victory. She's going to win that easy by at least three and a half lanes or more. But spinning post is a really good horse. And for some reason, she's still only S-ranked in this game. Well, i got to be honest with you guys. I don't know if... Well, I'm going to pause the recording here, and uh, I'll be back. Just got to check something. All right. I wanted to make sure everything was good with my recording. I was having some issues, and I uh, wanted to ensure everything was okay. And uh, we're back. So, we're up with uh, Suave Master. That's the other one. I'm like, I couldn't remember her name, but Suave Master. Um, Suave Master is a good horse, but then for me, she's also forgettable, and I don't know why. Like, I like her. You know, she's a really good horse, and I just forget her name often if I'm not actually looking at her. It's so weird. Heavy favorite here today in another open. Uh, she can settle in at the back, which is sweet. So no rush, no pressure. But the good thing is we finally have two new fillies because the game is still not giving me fillies as far as foals are concerned. The terrible start doesn't really matter, though. She'll have to do a little bit of work, but it shouldn't ruin uh, this race for her. And Yeah, she should be fine. Um, perfect. She's where she needs to be. I mean, she could run in last place and she'd probably be okay. The game would probably say that's, you know, bad grade, B, maybe A as a rank, but she she could handle it. But yeah, the game doesn't want to give me fillies for foals still, which I just, whatever. When we do breeding, I'm just going to expect it to be a boy until it's not. How about that? We should just expect it to be a boy until they actually give us a girl. That way we don't get our expectations up. But at least we have spinning post and Suave Master will be helping us. We're going to creep up the inside here with Suave. They have no idea. We're about to strike. There she goes. Down the stretch we come. I want to move because I don't trust that the space was going to be there. And now we can take off and go. I didn't want to be squeezed inside. 2001 has traumatized me, and oh, we're not actually winning. Wow. I totally didn't see the 11 until last minute. We finished uh, third. Maybe I should have stayed on the inside, huh? Maybe I should have stayed on the inside. Royal Derby smokes us. Yeah, D on the stretch. I guess I should have stayed to the inside, so that's my fault. Um, The gap was there, but then that horse that was in front of us... Um, 
I just I didn't feel comfortable. I felt like I was going to be blocked. So I wanted to at least make sure I was in clear space. We lost turf. Are you kidding me? That's stupid. I felt like we were going to be blocked, honestly. So, yeah, that wasn't a good race. But Suave Master's already ready to go again because, you know, she's fine. No, average girl type, right? Do they both have average? Okay. Well, they'll be good brood mares for us. I just have to make sure I'm, ex you know, exceeding with them. No G1s for Suave yet. Obviously, we just... I mean, they're both two. And uh, Spinning Post doesn't have one either. So, next year, we're going to have to go really hard with them to achieve our goals. Um, like, I'm not going to run them on the dirt, but I could. Because as long as we do better than our odds... Swab, do you have the power to run on the dirt? That's the question. 82. Ooh, okay. You know what? I'm going to run her in this grade one. I know she's not a dirt horse, but she's already set to go again. I, I think just kind of need to, you know, uh, get a little bit more dialed in with her. And then spinning pulse, I have to get her to the front a lot quicker. I feel like I'm kind of dragging. Ah! Wait, spinning pulse can actually run in that race legitimately. Never mind. My bad, Swaf. I didn't realize. I forgot. Um, entry cancel. We're scratch you. Spinning post. We're going to put you in that one. I totally forgot. You can run on both surfaces. Great. Two high socks on the back leg. Back legs. Gotta love it. Uh, she's in the green, though. That was the thing. But you know what? She has a chance to win. I'd say let's do it. And then Suav, I mean, I can get you in a grade three. That's probably what you need. Or the sunrise. You know, I, I want to put them both in grade ones. Like, I just, I feel like it needs to happen. Even if they don't win it. And Frugal... Frugal is... Frugal is amazing, man. They, like... 20 wins, 17 grade ones. I... Pff. She is... Yeah. Frugal is a real deal. And for her... Um... Winner GP, it's a stretch, but she can handle it. 94 Guts rating. That's... Like, she is... She is as tough as a horse needs to be. So we got three races coming up here to close out the year. And, uh, yeah. We certainly need to make sure we don't mess these races up. I don't think winning is going to be the objective except for this frugal one. And she's not the favorite. Doesn't need to be. Warm Star is. So that's fine. Yeah, frugal. Awesome, awesome girl. I mean, we're really fortunate we've gotten much better... Uh, Phillies, or girls, I should say, with now Suave Master spinning post, and then Frugal's been here. So, that's going to help us get better horses still. And then once we get a Philly, it's going to be even better. I just don't know when that's going to happen. Because, again, I did prove through testing the game will give me a Philly. I simulated like three or four years, and I eventually got a Philly as a foal. But it never happened again after that. So, I just feel like it's very hard in my game to get Phillies now. It's It's weird. I don't know how the coding works in Gout Racer games. I just... They're, they're really... They're so kind of quirky, in a way. With how some things work for some of us and how they don't for others. It's just... You know, it doesn't make sense. Like, it's the same game, but it's like everybody's game behaves differently. I've talked about it several times, and it just continues to kind of... Remind me of that every time something weird happens. Or when I play this game especially, because... The biggest highlight in this game now is the fact that we just can't get a Philly. Like, I really want to get back to 2004, but again, I'm waiting to get the right capture software because I, I want to make sure, like, with my investments for gaming capture software, like, I like to make sure what I'm getting is going to last a while. That's why I've been stuck with the same capture card forever because it's worked. But, of course, now because I want to stream, I, I need something that can obviously handle that and not give me, uh, uh, you know, any issues. So I'm saying all this to say, I want to get back to 2004, but our next episode is you know number 200 obviously that's a special that's a special number considering uh, just the support you guys have shown so i want to share that with you guys via a live stream but uh that can't happen until i get the new capture software so yeah any uh any assistance or help would do especially uh so i'll probably share something in the description box below or the comment section you guys will see it just make sure you check it after the video i should have it in there any assistance would help. Because, uh, man, it's nice in 2004 that we know we're getting multiple foals a year and then we're getting some boys and some girls, you know? 
Okay, we gotta go with Farouk right now. And I thought we were gonna get blocked, to be honest, and... She's got plenty of stamina. Is anybody catching us? There's no way! There's no way. The 11 is coming. Come on, Frugal! Come on, my girl! Who... Well, we weren't the favorite, but still. We got smoked at the... Gosh, look at the stride on the 11. Absolutely ran us down in the stretch. Still, it's a great effort from Frugal. She pulled away from the rest of the field, but... Oh, man. Whoever that was just smoked us. There was nothing I could do. They're probably going to give me, like, an A or a B for my stretch. Warm Star. Well, Warm Star might be a better horse than Frugal. S, S on the stretch. Okay. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think there was really anything I could have done additionally. We just... We got outran in the stretch. Like, Frugal was, I think, doing her best, and just Warm Star just kind of flew by us. But Warm Star is that type of horse, unchecked, with clear space, so... And honestly, I think that was a good effort. Of course, I wanted to win that race, but, you know, Warm Star being there always complicates it. Look at Swab. She's one of only two fillies in this field of boy boys running eight furlongs on the dirt, essentially. But she's got decent odds. That's why I figured putting her in a dirt race wouldn't be bad. She's a double... No. Yeah. No, Frugal's a double S. Swab and Spinning Post are only S in here. But... Um, I still think her stats make her good enough to be able to run in the dirt. Like, I don't think she's that bad. Like, it's not our preference, clearly, but again, she's got a good power raking. Um, guts as well, and she's relatively fast, so to me, that makes her pretty well suited for the dirt. And this is a track that I don't think has an incline, so we really have a chance to maybe steal one. It's a beautiful day for racing. Yeah, we gotta try to steal this race today somehow, man. That'd be a great way to end her, her two-year-old season, at least with a grade one, setting up her three-year-old campaign. Well, Swab, all eyes are on you here. What are you going to do? How are you going to respond? It's eight furlongs in the dirt, so we're going around pretty quick. Okay, decent start, and we're off in the Sunrise Derby here in Kyoto, Japan. And it's a good start for Swab, but fortunately, we, uh... Swab or Swab A, however you want to say it, I, I think it literally all depends. We don't know what Tecmo's actual goal was with the name. We can't exactly ask them, because you could say it's Swab or Swab A. Um, I just like saying Suave because Suave is just saying that all the time. Suave Master! Suave Master! It's just like, I just say Suave. You guys know who I'm talking about. It's a lot easier for me. Now, I don't think she wants to be running this high. I don't know where to... The, the, the inside's not open. The inside is not open. So trying to figure out where to have her, I'm a little bit stressed right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys because there's a horse blocking us on the inside. So I don't even know where to run her. Ugh, okay, we got to push now. Got to give her a left tap now. We got a long way to go. Long way to go. Two furlongs. Ah, I should have moved her up quickly, huh? Yep. I think I had her in the wrong place. She's got way too much stamina. Unless she runs these horses down in the stretch with less than a furlong left to go. I don't think it's going to happen. To spurt, but too late. I started way too late. I had her out of position. Oh, I want to have that back so bad, bro. She could have easily won that race. Oh, what am I doing? I literally said it to myself before the race started, right? I'm like, it's really quick. And somehow I just have her completely out of position and not close enough in time to strike. She's winning that race otherwise. Ugh. I feel like I'm not focused, so I need to focus up. Spinning post is here. Can't mess this up. She's not the favorite, though, and she's racing against some really good horses. But, you know, I think spinning post is good enough to hang with these, uh, with these boys and a couple of the girls, so... Got to get her to the front early, keep her there, um, make her comfortable. But yeah, uh, I don't really have any excuses, and we got a perfect start. That's exactly what we need. So, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hustle, 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 hustle. We got to get you to the front. All right. Yep, yep, yep. All right, just slow down a bit. Nope, stay, stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead. Okay. All right. Stay ahead, please. Just making sure she doesn't burn herself out. She's wanting to run like 90 miles an hour. It's like, no, that's not what we're doing here today. We got to pace ourselves. But yeah, a uh, little bit of lapse of focus here. Our last couple of races. 
So we need to tighten that up and try to get a win here. That'd be a good momentum shift. Yeah, Swab, that's two bad races with Swab. I just, I've had her out of position in both, you know, so that's kind of my fault, clearly. <laughs> All right. Come on, Spinny Pulse. Let's go, my girl. Let's go. Put them away. Ha! Ah, who is catching us, bro? Somebody's rolling up on us hot. Come on, Spinning. Push, my girl. Push. Push. Oh, let's go. Let's go, spinning. Oh, we needed that desperately. Needed that desperately, man. Thank goodness. That's one benefit of having a front runner like her. You can just hug that inside rail the whole time, and it does give you a huge advantage. So that works out for us, and a much, much needed grade one win since I butchered that previous one with Suave. We answer back with spinning post. Jupiter S stakes. I'm like, got to get the girls into grade one, man. Even if we didn't win, I just needed to get some good momentum heading into the year. It's a great race to win, not even as the favorite. She wins by a length over epic question. It was rolling up on us, but it's a good race. It's a good result. I focused a little bit in that one, just a little bit more. I'm lying. I, I focused quite a bit. I, I was just kind of zoning out in the other races, which is typically what happens when I zone out. I just do goofy things. I'm not actively paying attention. All right. Uh, Whirlwinds, 141 for the mid. Shocker. Are any of our horses up here? Probably not. Frugal should be up here, but I forgot Frugal's an old girl, so... Frugal for the turf. Only 132. As usual, disrespecting, but they put her at 134 on the dirt for the mid and the long. I'm actually surprised she's 132 for the mid, for the turf. And the dirt, 134. And the... Wow! Well, I think I said it in previous episodes. I, she was having a heck of a year. And uh, Frugal Lark, once again, gets another Horse of the Year award. That is her second. She got Best 2-Year-Old Philly. And she returns here now with a... Horse of the Year award, actually, which is even better than just being the best filly. Horse of the Year for her five-year-old season. <laughs> Frugal's the real deal, man. You gotta love it. Best older mare as well. Shocker. Yeah, put some respect on my girl's name, right? Let's go, Frugal. Another award. Oh, she's gonna be an awesome brood mare for us. I am so happy she popped up in the game. She popped up at, like, the perfect time. Uh, win average, as always, and earnings. Wow, we just missed winning all three in the leading, but we dropped a couple of races, which are my fault, but we were consistent, as always. Shocker. Uh, Dream Cup. I will enter it, sure, but it's like, it's going to be the same thing every time, right? Who can I do the Dream Mile with? Just Social Brandy? I'm surprised he really struggles with that race. It's just like, bro, it's not that far, man. I mean, it's eight furlongs. He needs to pull. I don't... Social Brainy has a better chance of winning. I'm going to keep just running him in this race. And that's it. Mount Running needs to pull this year. In fact, I really should be skipping this, but it's like, hey, we can win it once. Kind of on a, a weird fluky type of thing. I mean, I'm all for it. Of course, I'd prefer to win it on merit, but, you know. We'll see, right? We will see. All right. Social Brandy, not good odds, as always, but we're going to run the race anyways. So, uh, I'm going to keep racing Frugal. We're going to keep racing her until I feel like it's no point. She's doing well for us right now, and I want to continue to achieve as much as possible. I would like her to go into the breeding barn double less on everything, which we haven't had for any horse in this game yet, I don't think. Frugal would be the first, if I'm understanding correctly, and if that's the case, then... um. You know, we should give us even stronger horses going forward. So, I really want to make sure we make Frugal as good as we can. Like, yeah, I could just focus on spinning post and suave for the future, but Frugal is still super hot, and her stats are still really good. So, she's she's a horse I really don't want to retire because it's really fun running with her, and she's winning in incredible ways, and she's doing well still. I just feel like it, you know, just doesn't make sense to... I mean, she still has the sustained growth type, too. You can't forget that. So, it's she's a horse that you can still run competitively f for a long time. And you guys, I just I don't retire those horses, usually. It's not until I feel like they're really kind of starting to just fall off 
that's when I retire them. Otherwise, I will keep running them as long as they have that sustained growth type. That's the point of having sustained growth type horses. You can run them for a long time and still be competitive and just achieve as much as you want. And Social Brandy getting smoked. I should have started earlier, but uh, it is what it is. It's not really a race we're supposed to win. And I'm just surprised that even as good as Social Brandy was, we still are not even in a position to win these races. But he answers back. And I guess that's why he's much better at running longer distances. He gets better the longer the race goes. So I understand that's why he struggles with the eight furlongs. It just would be nice if he wouldn't. But, I mean, he was supposed to finish 12th. We finished 8th. So we beat out, <laughs> you know, six other horses, which is still decent, considering we weren't supposed to be anywhere near there. But winning was never going to happen. All right, back to real life here. Dream Cup over. It's another year in Gallup Racer. Frugal Lark is six. The two... Um, Phillies are now three years old and we'll have a full, I think, hitting the track this year. I think. We should, right? Yeah. Who's hitting the track this year? Toxic Waters. Ooh. Almost essentially a five-star horse across the board. Basically a five-star horse. 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, whatever you want to say. Not, who's Toxic Waters from? Not gonna lie. I kind of forgot. Hmm. I don't have it in my notes. That's annoying. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Keeping the name. And, uh, gosh, who is Toxic Waters from? Why don't I... I don't even have it in my notes. That's kind of annoying. Um, Toxic Waters. Well, we're going to do something a little bit different with you, regardless of your parents, since your name is kind of like, yeah. We're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, no ears. Hmm. I feel like I haven't done blue in a while in this game. What do we do? Hmm. None of these look good with the blue, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, not the way I would want it to. Hmm. You do... Yeah, I'm a little bit indecisive. I like the X, but I don't know. With the color combinations, I just don't know if it's what I'm seeing. I Actually, I think we're going to do this. This would probably make more sense. We can do blue there. And then... None of these colors look good, I swear. Like, if you want to go blue primary, I just feel like they don't look as good for some reason. Black and blue? No... Purple and blue, that looks odd. Green? I think I'm going to do something that's entirely different, to be honest with you guys. I do blue and green, though. You know what? I'm going to do blue and green. I don't know why it's speaking to me. I just, I have to do it. No, we just, do we do blue shadow roll? Green? Hmm. I think I'm gonna just stick with the all blue. I don't know why. That's just what I want to do. Yeah, I'm just I'm surprised I didn't put Toxic Water's parents down. That's such a goofy thing. Um, as far as wraps, I just want to do blue. Hmm. Actually, we haven't done green in a while. Maybe I should just do green primary. Yeah, let's do green primary. I feel like we haven't done that in ages. All right, Toxic Waters. Uh. I'm doing in trust because I just, whatever. Like, I don't know if it makes that big of a difference or not. All right, Toxic, who are you from? I like, cannot believe I don't, like, actually have it in my notes. It's really bad. So let's figure this out, and then uh, we'll proceed onwards. Um, you are from Social Brandy and East of Pool. How could I forget the first fall from these two? Duh. Um... Toxic Waters, Social Brandy, East of Pool. You guys will hear me typing. Ignore that. Uh, then we have Suave Master, and then we have Spinning Post. So, don't know why none of this has been updated. That win was 8.5 furlongs on Zidet. On Zidet. Okay. Well, yeah, Toxic Waters should be, uh, hopefully should be a nightmare for other horses on the track. So, Frugal's still six years old. Her stats are still extremely high. Therefore, there's no reason to retire our girl anytime soon.
Maybe uh, she's a seven-year-old. We'll see where she's at. But until then, uh, we're going to keep Frugal on a, on a tear here. And to be honest, I'm probably just going to wait to put her in a race. What, I think I was still going for a sprinter's title with her. I think. Um, Royal Cup. Then again... Can you... You're 7 to 11. Suave maybe could run in that. You're not fast enough. Frugal speed is 81. And Suave is 76. She's getting faster. I just don't know... Hmm. Well, Suave, we still gotta get her warmed up a bit. So, I'm gonna keep running her in grade 3s and whatever is available. Spinning Pulse, you're coming off of your first grade 1. And I think we can run you... Oh, no, we can't. Hmm. Oh, oh, great ones. A furlongs on the turf. I mean, she can run on both surfaces, which is nice. So we really have the flexibility to do what we want with her. But do I just save her for, like, a big race? Uh, there's really nothing for her, actually. So I guess I'll stick her to that. Which means, by default, Frugal Lark, we're going to go ahead and throw you on the Royal Cup. See how you handle this. I mean, she's got 81 speed. She's not the fastest, but... I run her right. She should still have a chance to be competitive. Maybe steal a win there. And that's the focus. Uh, for now. Let's actually check the foal. Twin Sun. See how that, that cult is developing. Wow. This horse just turned a year old. And already five star finesse. And four stars. Who is this from? Mad Courage and Honeybee. Could you imagine Mad Courage and Honeybee give us like an all-star type of sprinter? Um, I mean, Mad Courage, not surprising, but in no disrespect to Honeybee, it's just, I mean, maybe that's all it's, it's, it's taken. Just finding the right stud for Honeybee to really get that super sprinter we've been wanting for a while from her. Maybe that's all I really took. Because yes, Honeybee herself, she's, she's pretty much an A-ranked horse at, at, at best. She was S at times, but I would say she was a really, really strong a rain horse, especially with her stats. So you take that and you combine it with the Mad Courage type. Like, in fact, let's just go and look now. I don't know why I just, just didn't do that. I don't know why I'm, like, a little bit surprised that uh, the horse is almost at five stars and just turned one. I just wasn't expecting the development to happen that quickly. But, like, Mad Courage, the speed and the response are going to be fantastic. The power rating is going to struggle. But you look at Honeybee... And Honeybee speed, again, was only A. But look at her response. So we're going to get a really, really fast horse that's going to be instant on the response. That, to me, is going to be big, big, big to win a lot of races. So I, I guess in that regard, it makes sense why there's probably a lot of potential. I just wasn't expecting it. And nobody's racing this month, right? So let's skip. I'm excited. But Toxic Waters, raw talent from Social Branding East to Pool, should be a strong cult. I guess I'll do speed training, even though I feel like I've been mucking it up. Ah, I should have did guts training, right? I think that's what I was supposed to do. I think speed training is the one I either get fantastically or I fail miserably. Gotta admit, though, I like the, the blue and the green for Toxic Waters. I think it's a different look. This is why I'm not getting good scores. I'm just getting goods. Where are my excellence? Doesn't make sense, it's just goods. It's just a timing thing? I don't know what the game considers. You know? <sighs> it's amazing, you cannot miss one and then you just 68. Ah! <laughs> oh, sorry about that, I hope that didn't hurt anybody's ears. It's just like... Come on, bro. I really didn't mean to do speed training. I'm just like, that's, that's not what I wanted to do. Ugh, 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 ugh. Well, I really should just stick to Entrust. I could try Guts. Maybe I'll try Guts next time out. Just I need to excel on one of them, and like Guts is, thing is the only one I can. And the speed training isn't even hard, but anyway, Swab Master, she's up in a grade three. I just want to get to it and just try to win it, right? We're not the favorite, but we have a chance to win. But in all honesty, I, I've i said several times, my analog sticks, for some reason, I think are getting bad. I've been using the same PS2 controller for now, like, two years. Usually, I'm a guy that likes to, you know, 
make sure I'm kind of switching out and replacing my controllers where I got a couple extras. And this is one of those time periods in my life where I just don't have extra controllers for some strange reason. Like I do, but not for the PS2. In fact, I have like I have too many controllers for my PC, but I only have this one for the PS2. I, I don't know what I think sometimes. I don't know. Because, to be honest, I don't think about getting another PS2 controller until I play Gallup Racer, because I don't play my PS2 like that anymore. Not really. I have Gran Turismo for anybody that's familiar with that series. I'll play that every now and then, but I play it for like a half an hour and then I'm over it. So, I'm not really playing my PS2 like that. I'm definitely on PC a lot more. Never thought I'd be that guy. I'm like, oh, I'll never be, I'm on the PC guy. And it's like, yeah, I've turned into that guy. But I get it. I, I understand the... The, the infatuation with PC gaming. I, I didn't understand it. Granted, I'm not one of those plebs that acts like I'm superior. I, I, I don't do that, but I understand why people like it so long. Alright, Suave. Come on, girl. Let's good, see a good fight. Hey, she's digging in. Come on, we can beat this horse. We can beat this horse. We can beat this horse. We need a good bounce back. Good answer. Good answer, Suave. The tent is still out there. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Good win. Gosh, that was tough, man. Why was that so tough? That was a really tough, grinded-out type of win. <sighs> I'm still trying to figure Suave out. Like, I, as a closer, I don't know if I need to save her for a little bit of a shorter but more explosive stretch or if I need to get her going earlier. And granted, she wasn't supposed to win that race at all, so S on the stretch. I mean, the game is saying I pretty much did what I was supposed to do. I just still feel like I'm not quite maximizing her, and I want to get dialed into that point, but... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out. I mean, that was just a grade three. It was a tough grade three, though. Those horses were keeping with us. That wasn't just like a walk-away type of race. So it's a good effort to win, most importantly. And hopefully we'll continue on that momentum with her. All right. Uh, well, it's been a... For the most part, we've been consistent. In fact, we've only really messed up races with Swab Master, And then we just won that one back. So I think it's been a good episode. Um, for the most part, like I, outside of, like I said, the one or two swap master performances, we've, we've done what we need to do. Spinning post, she's in a great three. She's the second favorite. So have a chance to win sweet leaf number six horse. That's the favorite. We'll both be actually four of us will be competing to the, for the front. We have post position one, which is great. So I don't really care what those other horses are doing. I'm sending spinning posts to the front. I'm creating a length and a half to two length breather. And I'm just going to keep her there. It's fine. We can deal with that. And push, 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 push. I'm going to run her a little bit hard here. I want to make sure we're to the front and there's no contesting. Okay, see? No contesting, no contesting. Slow down, slow down now. You're good, you're good, you're good. All right. No. Oh. Yep. Yeah, she's a little bit weird to kind of, like, keep settled. And once she's there, she's fine. But, like, getting her to the point of where she is now, it's a little bit of a cat and mouse type of game. Like, you really kind of have to, like... You have to be pretty, pretty uh, careful with her, I should say. You know, too much can happen like this, and then it's just like... Yeah, it's like I have to constantly stay on using the up and down uh, directionals. Like, she's that type of horse. I can't just do it once or twice and she settles in. Like, it just, I have to keep moving it based off of what's happening around us. You know? There we go. Oh, swap. Put him away now. Ooh, is she going to struggle coming uphill? Oh, she's doing well. She's doing well. The two is coming, though. Six is staying with us. Two is coming. And two might run us down. Two and six both are going to get us at the line. I think she still finished second, though, which is where she was supposed to. That was a tough race again. And I said swap. I meant spinning post, but that was a tough one. Ran out of stamina. I keep forgetting. What's her power rating? Oh, she's a dirt horse, right? I mean, she can run on turf and dirt. And she has, what, 82 power? I feel like she struggles on inclines. I, I don't understand it. And double S on the stretch burst. Wow. I really felt like that was just kind of weird, but apparently to the game, I did exactly what I was supposed to do, and we just got nabbed at the line. Okay. Granted, spinning post's speed is still only at 68, I think, right? So she's still not even that fast. <laughs> Which is kind of weird to say, because she's such a good horse. But yeah, her speed, I think, is still 68, 69. Like, she still is not that fast. So, 
You give her an extra six points in speed, I think we win that race. But 68 against a horse with 70 or higher speed, yeah, that's probably going to happen, right? I just knew they were going to give me an A for the stretch. I just kind of felt like, I don't know, is she too tired? Do I start her too soon? It's like, no, you did exactly what you're supposed to do, Eric. She just kind of lost. <laughs> I hate that feeling. It's like you did everything and it's like it still just didn't really amount to nothing. And I'm kidding. She still finished second, which is where she was supposed to. But I just felt like that could have been a win. Uh, this is going to be an awesome, uh, not awesome, but awful grade, I feel. At least hopefully in the 80s. At least in the 80s. You know, it's because I'm not getting excellence, and I'm blaming my analog stick. So, okay, I'm done, done, done doing manual training permanently until I get a new controller. I'm thinking I can still get a 70, maybe an 80, but no, apparently just getting goods? No. It's fine. It's fine. And trust training for the rest of Toxic Water's uh, career. Yeah, Spinny, look at her. She's 68 speed. She's not even fast, bro. Even with a great response rating, she's still not fast, which means, yeah, she's not going to be leaving horses behind. I mean, Suave Master, she's about to be at 80 speed. Frugal's still in the 80s. The spinning post is t basically 12 points behind them. So I'm, I'm kind of glad to know I'm not actually, like, bugging out. Like, she's actually still not that fast yet, which is why she's struggling coming down the stretch. Like, I'm expecting this explosive speed, and it's like, yeah, no, nah, she's not that horse yet. Not yet. So I have to remind myself. She's not there yet, Eric. you, you got to give her some time. Uh, Suave? I still want to figure you out. Run you in another grade three. And spinning post, since you probably can't run in a grade one yet. Anything for you? Azalea Cup. Ooh, Azalea and Cherry. Well, we're going to put you in the Azalea Cup, actually. I'm just going to save you for that. And Swab, she'll be ready to do the Cherry Cup. I wonder if I should save her, though. No, I, I want to get another race under my belt with her. Hopefully, she should be in the blue by then. I think. She should be in the blue by then. If she's not, I think I'm still going to run her in that cherry cup. We got to get some wins with her. She's, it's not always going to be a perfect scenario, so really got to grind it out, I feel. All right, let's see. Swap Master's up, and she is the favorite, so no pressure at all. I'll probably knock these last three races out, and that'll end this episode, because, again, I want to make sure I get more videos out to you guys for the month. And that seems to be working better for the growth of the channel just overall, just uploading more videos, even if they're not, like, the hour-long marathon. So, uh, yeah, I'll just continue to do that. Main thing is just making sure you guys are entertained, no matter what we're playing or doing. One thing I've learned, not to play Horse Racing Manager 2 anymore. Uh, it's kind of weird because when I first started this channel, you guys know that game was the main game I was playing on this channel. And I'm pretty sure maybe some people are still here from when I was just playing Horse Racing Manager 2. And then once I shifted into taking Gallop Racer seriously, that became the main staple of the channel. And now it's like every time I play Horse Racing Manager 2, it's just like, ah, we don't want this. And I'm like, okay, I hear you. I get it. I mean, I, I understand the game. The game is nice for what it has to offer, but it, okay. the replay value is like, uh, you know. It's nothing like Gallup Racer or even maybe some other mobile games. I totally get that. Um, I'm going to move Swab up here. She hasn't really been running out of speed, so... Okay, we're just going to send her. Let's go. Run it. Run it down. Run him down. Stretch Burst should kick in. Oh, this is a good run. Very good run. Finally. You see, if Spinning Post had this speed, she would have won that last race we did with her. Suave is actually a pretty fast horse once you get her going in the right spot. Great response. Good Grey 3 win. I think I'm ready to put her in the Cherry Cup. Exactly what we needed. So that's two Grey 3 wins in a row. She's feeling good. I think she's ready for a Grade 1, and she should be able to win that. So that's good. That's what we want. That's what I needed. That's what I needed to feel. I feel like I finally, got, I finally have her rhythm together, dialed in. So now let's try to go win that grade one next month, which will be next time around. But that's good. We, we've answered back with Suave, I should say, right? We've answered back. Going through our struggles, but finally kind of figuring that part of it out. All right. Two more races to go. I forgot. Breeding next month. We don't even have any space. Yeah. Hmm. I don't want to skip a year, but we may have to because I'm not retiring Frugal Lark. She's still too good. <laughs> She's still too good to be retiring right now. 
Um, she is the favorite in the Royal Cup. No, she's not. Simple Moon is. Okay, whatever. I'm not really scared of that horse. I think we can win this race with Frugal as the second favorite, so let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, I think we're skipping breeding this year because we don't have the space. Um, yeah, we don't have the space, and again, I'm not retiring the horse I'm about to race on. I want to keep racing with Frugal until I really feel like, okay, now is the time. The horses. Because then it's like, what if I can achieve more with her than I just retire her early and then it's just that what if. That would probably sting and just irritate the living bejeezies out of me. That is a word, bejeezies. No, I'm kidding. It, it, it's a word in my dictionary, but not the actual one. But yeah, I don't want to have that feeling with frugal, so I want to keep racing. It's like butterfly effect, right? Retired butterfly effect after I felt like we did everything we needed to do with her and we achieved pretty much our maximum, you know? That's what I want to do with Frugal. Keep racing her until I feel like we've hit the ceiling with her and uh, we can retire her on a good note, wherever that is. Which, technically, we can now, but it's like, again, she just turned six and she's still very strong, very competitive. There's zero reason to retire her. Until her guts rating starts to fall to a point where she starts losing races that we shouldn't be losing, we're going to keep racing her, you know? I mean, look at all this stamina she has, bro. We're cooked right now. We're just going to roll and run. Roll and run, Frugal. This is the World Cup, mind you. This is six furlongs, and this is why there's no reason to retire the great Frugal Lark. She smokes the field. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. As the kids would say, she is eating out here. Now, I don't resonate with what the kids say, because the kids say crazy stuff today. And I'm sure some of you are part of that crowd. It's fine, as long as you're behaving yourselves. The kids just say wild things, but... Yeah, Frugal Lark was eating them alive, I think. She gets it done, she wins the World Cup, and this is why there's, there's I have no desire to retire her, because like she's still that strong. <laughs> and granted, the World Cup, it's easy domestic competition. Terrible photo, who cares? She wins another grade one. That's the 18th, I think. Six lengths, she destroys the field. Jaka. Um, that was at six furlongs. So, yeah, still working on that sprint, uh, sprinter's title. She's got two wins, from what I know, two wins at the distance. So we still need three more wins at, like, a distance like that for her to get that title, from my understanding. Let me double check, just to be sure. Let me save as well before we do this last race. But Frugal, let's check her out, right? 18 grade one wins. I still want to hit 20. She's earned over 200,000. 21 wins overall. And titles, I think she only... Does she have four or six? She doesn't have that many. She's got six. Okay, so she has a decent amount, but still. Yeah, she hasn't gotten that sprint champ title, so... Frugal, my girl, you are amazing. Amazing. I rebuke any Frugal Arc slander forever on my channel. Not that anybody said anything recently, but I saw somebody say, Oh, she's not that good of a horse. I'm like... the. the, the how do you even call yourself a Gallup Racer fan not understanding Frugal Lark for what she's worth at her value is one of the most reliable horses you can have in the entire series? She's not, like, the best horse in the game, at least not in this one. I think she's one of the best uh, girls in the original Gallup Racer 2000, a.k.a. Gallup Racer 3, but, like, for what for what it's worth, man, Frugal is fantastic, really. So no slander. Uh, in trust, yeah. No manual training. You're, you're, you're donezos, bro. Honestly, I think we could have done better. Shut up. I don't care. New foalborn. From who? It's gonna be a cult. Of course, naturally. Beautiful. I don't even remember who you're born from, bro. Uh, bro. Blah. Oh, boy. Well... I think I'm going to take liberties with this one. I feel like I haven't actually named a horse in here in a minute. Um, hmm. I don't know what I want to call it. You know what? I don't even know if you're still around, bro. But um, I'm going to go ahead and give this name to you. We're going to name this horse Lightning Flash. Now, Flash, if you're around, bro, let you know. Let me know, man. But uh, yeah, we're gonna give this name to you. Something just screams Lightning Flash to me from this horse, so I want to run with this name. And 
and uh, hopefully the horse lives up to the name because that means I want it to be fast. Lightning Flash, there you go. And uh, yeah, I don't remember who you're from. Breeding season, again, we don't have the space, so we'll be skipping this year. Um, who are you from? Yeah, Twin Sun from Mad Courage and Honeybee. Cannot wait. Lightning Flash, you're from Mad... Ooh, Mad Courage and Catch This Gal. This should also be another strong boy because Catch This Gal, all of her stats are pretty much average and higher. And Mad Courage, well, again, most of us know what Mad Courage is about. But let's look at Catch This Gal in case you forgot. B's and A's with a D and a C, okay. But again, consistent stats, which means we shouldn't get any bad stats except for the power rating, which, again, I kind of accepted with Mad Courage, and I'm just hoping the horses are fast enough um, in the right categories to uh, kind of ignore that. Uh, that is my hope. Um, so yeah, I guess that's... Let's see, we can actually get one more race in. With who? Spending posts in the Azalea Cup. And then, well, actually, you might need to get knock these two out. Swab is ready for the Cherry Cup. Two races, I lied. All right, well, Swab, how's she doing? Two wins and five starts. So she definitely needs to pick it up for what I want four I want her to be in frugal or excuse me spinning post is two and two or two out of four with a grade one so frugal's doing why do I keep saying frugal spinning post is doing a little bit better than her stable mate suave but I think spinning post is slightly the better horse even though suave has the better stats right now last few races of this episode hope you guys have enjoyed cherry cup here with suave she's not the favorite but doesn't matter we just need to try to get the win yeah, so bottom line is our two foals that we have. Twin Sun is going to be awesome for Mad Courage out of uh, Honey Bee. And then um, Lightning Flash for Mad Courage out of Cash This Gal should also be another strong course. I don't know if it will be as fast, obviously, as the Honey Bee fold. But, again, should be strong enough in the important category. Should definitely still be great in speed because that double S helps out all the time. If you have a double S horse breeding with speed, you're always going to get fast horses. It's just a matter of whether their other stats are going to complement the speed. But... I'm not worried about our speed factor with our horses, you know? Not anymore, at least. Not since I acquired Mad Courage. So that's going to help us out a lot. Even races we maybe shouldn't win, the speed is going to give us a really big advantage over the other horses. So I'm excited for both of them. Excited for both of them. Hopefully you guys are too. It's been a while, right? It's been a long time. I mean, we haven't had a honeybee type of horse since honeybee. As far as the, the closing speed, we haven't had a horse like that. That's been our own. No. Um, Paracosm's been our best dirt original that we've had. And uh, we haven't had just a blistering, scary fast horse like Honeybee for kind of that closing speed. So They're going to they're gonna swing out. That's fine. I'm going to keep her tucked. Keep her tucked. Move, move, move. Oh, wow. I actually got through. I'm, qu I'm surprised we've managed to figure it out. Swab, this is the Cherry Cup. This is all you, girl. This is all you. 14's coming. 12 is coming. Come on, Suave. You gotta finish out here. You gotta finish out. She's gonna do it. Let's go, Suave. That's three for three. That's three for three. Uh, she wins the Cherry Cup. Desperately needed grade one victory for Suave Master. She gets it done. Uh, she needed that. She really did, right? Let's go, Suave. But again, the speed. This is exactly what I'm saying. Suave is now... An 80 uh, rated speed horse, and that is what speed can do for you. Gives you results like that. Fantastic stuff. Get a little drafty in here. Here we go. Anywho, great, great race for Suave. Great win. She wasn't even the favorite, so she gets it done. And that's uh, three wins in a row, so. Like I said, I needed to get dialed in with her. I've gotten dialed in with her. And uh, Zelly Cup will end this episode with spinning posts. Hopefully we can make it two for two with the girls. In fact, every Royal, uh, Frugal Arc won the Royal Cup. Swab just won the Cherry Cup. Spinning post, you have to win the Azalea. Like it, it, it just has to happen regardless of who's in this field. She's not the favorite. Eastern Knife is, and Eastern Knife is a fast dude. Wow, she's actually the only girl. She's uh she's really she's really uh Yeah, she's really putting herself out there and just rolling with the boys and it's gonna be a tough one because the Eastern Knife is pretty darn fast. But 
<sighs> I feel like she needs this win. I don't know how. I'll figure it out. Hopefully Eastern Knife just gets blocked somewhere, really. Is that horse, I think, is... I mean, Spinning Pulse is still not even over 72 speed, so, like, even for a 10 furlong race, she's still going to need quite a bit of speed in the stretch, and uh, if she doesn't have that, it's going to be a long day for us. You know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, somehow, some way, and didn't mean to bump that horse. I hope that doesn't mess her up for the rest of the race. It shouldn't, but you never know. Eastern Knife, where are you? Hopefully you're all the way at the back. Okay, you're closer than I like you to be. But where are you? I can't even see. Okay, you're somewhere back there. I can't see. Wait. Okay. Maybe you'll get blocked from that position. I doubt it, but you could. Alright. Keep spinning post happy. Keep her right in this this groove. Ah, it's so tricky managing her uh her her speed, though. She wants to go too slow, and then I speed her up. She goes too fast. It's just really hard to kind of keep her in that groove that I want her to be in, you know? Now, Eastern Knife still hasn't made a move yet. And I'm going to kind of relax here with spinning. Okay, that's good. Still a long way to go. Furlong. Is the 12 coming? Oh, wow. She's done. Yeah, she still has a long way to go, bro. She's she's quite not there. I wonder if I should be running her on the dirt. Eastern Knife got absolutely blocked, but we didn't win the race. We finished third, which is still decent. But I think it's, of course, much higher than where she was supposed to. I know I'm being pretty hard on myself, but... Um... You know, you want to win. So... Yeah, but, I mean, she's still developing. She's still not that fast. And she's really tapping out with her stamina. I think I should be running her on the dirt, obviously. Because her stamina is, like, what, 60 if that? What's her stamina? 61, yeah. No, that's swapped, my bad. 59, yeah. Her stats aren't really improving yet at all. For her to have an average growth type, I'm a little bit worried. Like, where are the 70s? You know what I mean? Her power rating is only 61. Her stamps 59. So yeah, I, I probably should just be running her on dirt. I don't think she's she's not built for the turf right now, not to succeed truly. So I'm gonna switch her to a dirt campaign, and I'll keep these two obviously uh, on the turf as expected. So that's what we'll do next time out. Yeah, I really should have been paying more attention to that, but it is what it is. Now I know I shouldn't be wasting time with her on the turf. I wanted to make sure. And uh, we understand that now. That's going to do it for today's episode. Appreciate you guys for the love and support on the channel. Make sure to hit that like button. It does help out a lot. Share on your social media platforms. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok. TikTok is just Horse Racing Gamer. All one word. You'll see me. I just do Rival Stars content there for now. I don't know if that'll change. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have it, for any of you that do, go ahead and follow me over there. Um, it's, a, it's a fun time with some different Rival Stars stuff. I'm not doing, like, full episodes. It's just kind of, like, highlights, which probably works better for that game anyway. So, appreciate you guys. Until next time, Horse Racing Racing. Have a great and fantastic day. We'll see you later. Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made. Hey, guys. It's Eric. Just a quick reminder to smash the like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any time. Leave your comments as well. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe because 64% of you at the moment, for some reason, aren't subs. So, make sure you hit that button. Without further ado, though, let's get into today's video.